We are gathered here. Uh, I'm Councilman Traeger. I'm joined by uh, Borough President Adams, other uh, colleagues of mine, advocates, community leaders, and residents of this neighborhood. We are gathered here demanding answers, demanding transparency, and demanding accountability. Just a few days ago, my office and others were notified through a group email from advocates, not from the responsible environmental agency, but through advocates, that a 27,000 gallon oil spill occurred here in Gravesend Bay behind us. It occurred last Thursday around 2.45 in the morning. And it wasn't only until yesterday that my office finally made contact with somebody from the New York State Department of Environmental Conservation. That is unacceptable. That is unacceptable. Let me be very clear. Gravesend Bay and Coney Island Creek, they are not some toilet bowl for the yes. government yes. or for yes. private yes. industry. Right. Stop dumping on us! 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 I find it absolutely outrageous and unbecoming of an agency titled the Department of Environmental Conservation that they have failed on all fronts to protect the environment and public health in this area and they have failed to properly notify this community of their efforts to keep us safe. How did this spill happen? Why did it happen? How will it not happen again? What's being done to remediate this spill? How are you working with local officials and the local community? And what makes it that much more outrageous is that literally a few months ago, DEC came down to a meeting where they acknowledged that they failed to notify us about 200,000 gallons of raw, untreated sewage being dumped into Coney Island Creek on a daily basis by Beach Haven Apartments because of illegal sewer connections. And they knew about this, and they said nothing. They knew about this, and they said nothing and they acknowledged this. And they came down to our community board and said, we have to improve communication. Well, how do they improve communication? Why is it that we find out through advocates? And let's be very clear about this body of water. This is an area where people fish not just for fun, not just for recreation. They fish for food. They fish for dinner. This is an area where our young students gather almost on a weekly basis to conduct coastal cleanups. This is where families come to have to socialize. This is this is not this is this cannot be kept under the rug. So I am here with all my colleagues and all of our residents and advocates to demand answers, to demand accountability, and to demand transparency. What happened here? How will it never happen again? How will the bad actors be held responsible? And what remediation efforts are underway to protect the public health? So I just want to now first call up the Brooklyn Borough President, whose office has been in touch with my office since, this, since we were notified of this. And we are working together with all my colleagues here, the controllers here and others who are here, to demand those answers. Borough President Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, uh, Councilman.